So if you have ever run into this problem where you created software, an app, whatever it is, you publish it to the store, everything was working. The last time you opened it, <laughs> everything worked perfectly. And now you see these yellow exclamation marks on your application. Maybe you open it like a month later, two months later. Uh, there's updates to NuGet packages and things of that nature. Everything has been working fine. You haven't any issues. All of a sudden, you run your build and the build fails with obscure uh, messages. And this is the video for you. So um, problem statement once again, you're getting weirdo errors. You don't know where the errors are coming from. Uh, you're seeing this exclamation mark and you don't understand what the heck is happening. So before I do anything, what I typically like to do is just make sure that there are no errors in the code. So I just go to the error list and you're typically going to have two kinds of errors um, when you do this. So I'll maybe do that, save it. I just created an error. So when you get it, you're going to see all these errors that show up on top, right? That have the actual, um, uh, the help link on them, but there'll be some, you know, typically some error, actual errors uh, that are there. If there aren't, then good, then you're in a, a good state. Um, I had errors um, and I just cleaned them up um, off screen, just got rid of the issues that exist. So you should now be in this state where basically it's just this weird thing. And you don't know uh, what the issue is. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do then is we are going to check that the referenced assembly is where it's supposed to be. So let's look at the error list again. As you can see, it's looking for this file flex.mobile.data. So we're going to try to rebuild that to make sure that's building, that there aren't any errors there. It doesn't look like there are. You can see down there, rebuild all succeeded. Let's build that again, just to make sure. Yeah, that's fully succeeded. So the final thing we're gonna try before we get into the um, heavy lifting is just close and reopen the application. So let's try that. So just restart Visual Studio. Close that. And then we're gonna try opening it again, see what happens. All right, so we have this open now. The errors are gone, as stated. And you'll notice now that for flex.mobile, the yellow check mark is gone. If I go in here, go to my packages, all my packages are properly loading. I should be able to build this now. And it looks like the build is complete. It looks like um, we've solved the issue. So once again, whenever you encounter that in NuGet, it's probably something to do with uh, Visual Studio. But just to make sure, try to get rid of all the errors that may appear. Uh, and then once you get rid of all those errors and all you're seeing are the erroneous errors, then basically restart Visual Studio and you should be all set and back to a state that you can work with. If you like the video, like and subscribe, comments down below, and as always, have a pleasant day.